Katie Douglas, Luke Billick, how are you guys doing? Very Wonderful. well today. How yeah. are you? I'm great. So this new show, Raising Expectations, this is a big deal. It's about a mom and dad who we'll get to soon, but Jason Priestley and Molly Ringwald, yep. teen right. icons in their own right. We'll talk about them in a second. But this show, I, I kind of watched the first couple couple of episodes i get like a modern family kind of feel arrested development obviously yeah. the guy behind arrested development tom saunders tom created saunders. this so how excited are you about this project i was honestly super excited um to just book the project and then obviously you're you're kind of immersed in the whole world of the waynees family and house and obviously getting to meet you is just <laughs> favorite co-star favorite co-star <laughs> honestly straight up and everyone honestly we got along so well and just like the whole world came together so now it's the interesting point where we get to see if what we uh, did it was believable enough uh, for you guys. Created. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So obviously it's five children that uh, your parents have in the show. They're all overachievers. They all multi-excel at something. Mm -hmm. So what in your own life have you been an overachiever at? Well, I've always been drawn to um, art stuff. So I find in my spare time I'm always drawing or painting or playing guitar and singing. And then I, I've got into this acting thing as well. So I, I guess I could say that um, that's something that I've, I'd like to think I've excelled in. <laughs> you know, I was uh, like a child when I started acting. So I think one of the things is, you know, trying to transition into like an adult and that whole world. Um, but I think definitely sports is something that, you know, if I, if I pick up any anything to do with sports, you give me 15 minutes and I'll yeah. excel at it for sure. Well, which is very much like your character, Adam, right? Because he's the star athlete. Yep. You are the global activist <laughs> on the show. So are you like your character in real life? What are the similarities? I think in a, in a lot of ways, I, um, you know, I, obviously in the athletics, I, I excel, but yeah. uh, I'm not a genius. <laughs> I stuck to the acting where they write the lines I for me. Yeah, well, at first I didn't think I was like my character at all. I'm Connor, my character is very driven and she's always doing something and she's always, you know, got a plan and her socks always match, whereas my socks never match. <laughs> and I'm kind of, um, you know, I like to sit and daydream kind of. But um, over a process of time, I realized that I was surprisingly like her in the sense of I've always um, had a very protective take of, uh, to nature and I've like adore animals as well. Um, so I found a lot of similarities. We both have big families and. So where were you when you found out you actually got this role? Jeez, I think I was, I had done two auditions, and I think my mom actually picked me up from school to tell me. I was going home for lunch or something, and I was like, oh my god, nice. cool. And at that point, I didn't really realize the actors who were going to be in it. I, I, I read the script, and I thought it was really cute. I was really excited to be part of it. And then um, eventually, I learned that Molly and Jason were going to be part of it. And yeah, I was like, at what oh point god. did you find that out? Because I didn't. Wardrobe. It was yeah, it was war It wasn't until I right at the very last second. <laughs> Let's talk about that for a second, because these are two teen icons in their own right. Yeah, yeah. Tracy from 90210, Molly Ringwald from uh, 16 Candles. Breakfast Club. They look great. They're still <laughs> delicious. Um, let's talk about how it was working with these two because uh, did they give you any advice? Did they give you advice on being a teen icon yourself? I've said it once. i say it a million times. Jason Priestley, he demands the respect of every person that he talks to. And he, when you talk to him, it's like he wants to listen to you and he cares. And on set, it's that and so much more. There's so much, they're so giving as actors and and um, you're, I, I was constantly learning and broken out of scenes just watching them. And I'm just... Yeah, he seems like such a cool guy. Oh, oh he Molly. is. Yeah. Even just, just being able to work with them was also a learning experience, mm -hmm. for sure. They were some, we had some good times. They're definitely role models. Mm -hmm. So let's, uh, let's do a little rapid fire with Luke and Katie. Cool. Let your fans get to know you a little bit here. So your favorite artist or favorite band right now? Go. Oh, geez. Um, right now? Red Hot Chili Peppers. Mm. Ooh. That's a good one. I got to just go Drake. First concert that you attended? Mine was Bastille. Mm. Yeah. A J. Cole and Drake concert. Favorite TV <laughs> or Netflix series? Mm, that's a really hard one. I, I love Game of Thrones. I love that show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. G Game of Thrones. Yeah. Game of Thrones. Um, also, super addicted to Arrested Development. Yeah, obviously. Oh, wait, Tom yep. Saunders. Yeah, right. Show. Right. Okay, good stuff. Who is your doppelganger? Who do people tell you you look like the most? Lucy Hale. Oh, I get that. I can <laughs> see that. I used to get Taylor yeah, Lautner it. as a kid, thanks yeah. to Melinda Shankar, who started that back Melinda in 2010. Jackson. Thanks, guys, so much. Thank, Thank you very you much, so man. Much.